All right, so this is a really quick video just to show you how to create device files in CMS. Uh, the device file is a file which contains all of the offline settings and the history and the logs and all of the additional configuration information for the relays in the Nodic Power Recloser system. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, the first one is the method that you commonly use to create templates, and then the other one is one that you use when you want to deal with devices from the field. Um, so let's start with the easy one, which is the uh, one for creating your template. So a template file is something that you typically use when you're working to create a bunch of settings that you're going to distribute to somebody else. Um, the important thing with the device file is that if you actually want to connect to a field device, the serial number of the device file has to match the serial number of the relay in the field to make sure that uh, the settings go into the right place. So if you're making a template, then it's basically just a blank device file, except for the offline settings that you can use to copy across two live devices. So let's start with that on how to create the template file. So what you can do is just go up here to the device tab. We'll go to new device, and I'm going to call this one device template. You'll see um, underneath it, then you can choose what kind of switch gear that you're going to connect to, whether it's a three-phase recloser, a three-phase with high-resolution FTF. Um, that changes the settings that are available to you, so it's important that you get those ones right. Um, or a single-phase recloser or a single-triple device. Now, it's important to make sure that that is correct for the template that you want to create, but if you're just making a template, the relay, relay serial number doesn't actually matter. So in this case, um, I'm just going to use a three-phase device, and we'll see all the uh, just use the default relay serial number that pre-populates there. Um, they have to be unique in the list, and CMS will choose the next unique one um, when you use this method. So you'll see there's a little asterisk at the end of device details, and that shows that there's unsafe changes in there. Now, my favorite way, rather than just going up to save it, is to use the close to save method. Um, because CMS can have lots of windows open at the same time, and it's just nice and clean to make sure that you close windows when you're done with it. So I like using the close to save. So go close. Would you like to save the changes? Yes, absolutely. And you'll see down the bottom here that the default um, offline settings are getting populated. You scroll down, there is the device. So that one there is created, ready to go. Okay. So if you want to connect to a field device, you obviously need to get the serial number right. So it's quite a long number. And whilst, yes, you can have a look on the panel and read it in and type it in and use that method to get online, my favorite way of doing this, which is much easier, is simply to take a USB printer cable that's one end connected to the controller. We plug the other end into the laptop. And down the bottom, you'll see other connected devices show up. So let's see, it'll tell you automatically what the relay version is, the switch gear type, and the serial number, which is great because that saves a bit of data in for you. So in order to make that into a device, you just right-click on it and say add as new device. And I'm going to call this uh, real field device. Um, usually you would have a proper name for that, um, and that's something that you can implement there. So again, you'll see that this time around, the switchgear type has actually been pre-selected because the relay already knows what kind of switchgear type it's connected to. Um, and we've got the relay serial number, so you don't have to copy that bit in. Um, but again, we've got the asterisk, so I say close to save. And we go through the same process down the bottom there as it's creating it. And you'll see that we're all populating the stuff. All right, so as it's... Um, ready and created, you can see that it's just plugged in as your status. So if you want to, you can right click on that and say go online. And you are online with a device. So there you go. That's the two main methods for creating devices. Um, one is the one that you commonly use if you want to make templates. And the second one is if you want to create a device for a field device. Now, if you want to import into the settings across a template, then um, the second one, the second method for the live device is the method I would use. I would copy the settings across and then put them into the device. We'll show you that in one of the other videos. Thanks for watching.